Okay guys, now in this video we'll learn how to work with edit panel while we're creating funnels. Now the process is very simple. When you open an edit panel, it will look like this, okay? Now, you have the edit panel located on the right side here, just beside the scroll bar. If you scroll down, you'll, you'll be able to see all the options over here. Now at first, if you want to change the image of uh, this funnel right over here, you can click on this icon. If you click on this icon, you can simply upload the image you want to replace with from your device. You can simply upload any of the images. Click open and there you go. It will be uploaded. Okay, now if you scroll down a little bit more, you can edit the first line from this box. Now if you uncheck this option which says address by name, it will be gone. And if you check it back, it will appear again. Now what it does is when your visitor is converting from this funnel and returning afterwards, this particular funnel will be addressing that visitor by its name. And thus it provides a personalized message to your visitor and making that particular returning visit more attractive. Now, if you want to edit the second line, just scroll on a little bit. This is line two, and you can edit the text from here. And likewise, the third line, you can edit it from here. You can edit the name field, email field from these boxes, right over here. Let's say you wanna put another word. So put it in. Just put it in, that's it. You can see the changes in the email field and, uh, and in the name field. And uh, if you scroll down a little bit more, you can work with the submit button, this one. You can change the text from this box. If you want to take this part off, simply work over here. Just wanna keep download, simply delete all of the text, that's it. Now if you want to change the text color, you can do it from here. Pretty easy. If you want to change the button color, you can do it from here. Pretty simple. If you want to change the font style, this is the place where you work. Now if you scroll down a little bit more, here's the line four. Okay. Now this is the fourth line and you can edit it from this box. Now you have text customization options with each edit box, as you can see, you can change the font size, family, colors, you can make it bold and italic. You, you have these options with each edit box, okay? So you have these options in uh, every one of the edit boxes. So it's pretty cool. You can play with the text and uh, change the style completely according to your needs. So uh, if you scroll down and go at the bottom, you have the option to change the background color of the opt-in as well. Now you can change it like this, or you can get a customized color from here. So it's pretty simple. Now, once you're done with uh, designing the elements of this opt-in, you can move on to the success page. Now, if you scroll up on the right, right beside opt-in, you have the success tab, click on it. By default, this option will be selected, which says show download page. Now, if you want to keep this page, then you can simply scroll down and uh, follow through the edit boxes if you want to change the text. Like the first line, if you want to change the first line, simply work in this box, underneath line one. For the second line, work in this box, underneath line two, and you have the customization options as well, like font sizes, colors, and all other steps. Now if you scroll a little bit more, you have the option to select the files for download. You can select it from the drop down. If your files uploaded on the file vault, then that file will be appearing right over here when you click on the drop down. Then uh, you, have the, you have the option to customize the download button, this one. You can change the text from this box, change the text colors, change the button colors from this place and change the font style as well. And if you scroll down a little bit more, you have more options. Let's say you want to redirect your visitor to a new page, then select this option. There you go. Now, 
put the URL in this box. Now the URL you enter in this box, that will be the page where your visitor will be redirected. Now, if you want uh, your page to close and just simply reload and close opt-in, then simply select this option. And if you just want your opt-in to close and do not do anything else, then uh, select this option, right? Now, it, let's say you don't want any of this happening for the opt-in and you just want a default success theme, then select this option. There you go. It's pretty simple and amazing. I hope you enjoyed the video and you can work around the edit panel. If you face any further problems, you can always contact our support team for further help. Uh, thank you for watching the video.